Hi guys, it's Melissa from Starry Family Adventures. We hope that you had an awesome Easter. We know that we did. We're so thankful that Jesus rose from the dead, that he died for our sins, and now we have the gift of eternal life if we choose it. So what could be more awesome than that? So on Thursday, we basically the only thing we did was read from the Bible about the Last Supper. Um, we used the Action Bible. The kids really like this Bible. It's basically like comic book style. So it's um it's story form. So that was Thursday. And then on Friday, the kids were very busy. Uh, we started out by making um, greeting cards for the nursing homes. That was part of their 4-H Lend a Hand Day project. Since we can't go out to the community and do things together. And then we decorated Easter cookies, which is something that we don't normally do, but you know, it's something to do. <laughs> so, and the kids had fun doing that and it kept them busy for a while. Ava's mixing up different colored frosting. his death sentence and him dying on the cross and then we actually celebrated Easter on Saturday with family just because it was going to be in the 60s and Sunday would be in the 30s so we chose to go with Saturday so we could do the Easter egg hunt outside in nice weather and <coughs> the kids dyed Easter eggs and we had a prime rib Easter dinner. We did all that with a few family members. We unfortunately did not get to celebrate with all of the family, which most people didn't get to do that either. So we'll take what we can get with just a few family members. We also did not do Easter dresses this year. Um, with us moving and all of our stuff being in storage, I did not even try to dig through totes to find those. Also usually I go to a secondhand clothing store in Nebraska and that was closed with the coronavirus. Um, so we just wore what we had this year. What? We're doing Easter eggs. Ivy, what are you calling your egg? What color is that? What color is that? Oh wow, I love that. That's beautiful. That's really cool. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you tell them? Give this spoon in there. 
about five more minutes and then we can get it out. Easter when it came to grandma and grandpa's. Um, kids, just come sit. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ocean. Oh, man. Guess who I have? Nope. Eli, she can do her own. Ivy, get that, baby! Get some more, baby! Uh, five? Pick up five pieces of candy laying on the grass. Good job. You opening your eggs? You opening all your eggs? It's an egg. Oh, you got it. It doesn't Where's, come back to you. Where'd the first one go? No, the first one. Oh. You just go somewhere else. Okay. Maybe it's mine now. Then Sunday morning, the Easter Bunny came. So the kids got their baskets and they played with um, some of their new art projects. And then we read about Jesus um, being raised from the dead, which is the whole reason of celebrating Easter, right? Oh, baby, hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. I hope it's one of these. Can I open this? Hold on. And they got Superman. Jesus was raised from the dead as the savior of the world. He saved us from our sins. Death no longer has a grip on any of us. Sure, everyone dies, but it's not an eternal death. If we accept the free gift that God has given us through Jesus Christ, we can then look forward to an eternity in heaven.